Hello, hello everybody. Angie here. Coming on to work on my new journal with you guys a little bit. Thought you guys might want to craft along and see what we can get done today. We're going to get right into this. I've got a few ideas for a couple little designs and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of play and go from there. How's everybody doing? I sure hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm doing good. Let's see. Um, I was flipping through some pages and I was drawn to this one. And I really like it, but I think it needs to be dressed up a little bit. So what I was thinking is just something simple as bringing in a little trim. I just think it needs a little dressing up. So I was thinking maybe a little something like this. So let's start there, the so easy pieces. And then as we go, you know, get our mind and our thoughts together. And go from there. Yeah, so let's see. Hopefully I can get this tucked under. It looks like it should be pretty easy. Okay. And I'm just gonna overlay this right on the flap there. I don't wanna interfere with that because those are gonna be little tuck spots there. But yeah, doesn't that dress that up a little bit? I think so. that dry a minute <clears throat> to the other side And I'll fill all this stuff later. We'll just try and get some pages decorated right now. But yeah, I think that dresses that up right nicely. And I'm even thinking something small in the center of that bow, but nothing's caught my eye yet. I do have, let's look at this. I do have some, um, let me just see if any of that's it. It's pretty, but it just doesn't say it belongs there, you know? <clears throat> so I'll hold off things like that you know are just quick and easy but I'll wait till something speaks to me but I think that dresses that page up quite nicely okay and then this one I had this tiny piece of lace trim that I trimmed off of here and I was thinking you know what let's use that and add that to the page so I'm just thinking like something like right there. I'll just make a little lace pocket. I mean, just something as simple as this, guys. <laughs> Why not, right? Look how cute. Yes. Now we got to make something real quick. I was thinking real quick to put in there. We'll just make a make a little tiny envelope right fast. Let's see what paper I've got here. We could put some tickets or something in there, but I don't like that color unless I decorate them and I don't want to do that yet. So let's oh, let's just use book page. Let's just use book page. Yeah. I think that'll work. And I am just gonna wing this. I'm gonna cut a strip about, I think two inches will probably be good. That looks like about two inches. I didn't measure it. And I think if we do two by two, Hopefully that will fit in there. If 
not, we can adjust. So I just got a two by two. And we're just gonna make a quick little envelope. See if it fits. Keep your fingers crossed. It looks about straight. About. Is that gonna fit? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks a little off. Let me adjust this side a little bit. A little better. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, I need to bring this side in a little bit. It's bothering me. Okay. Alrighty, there we go. A little better. And we got ourselves a quick and easy little envelope. Let's glue that down. I'm going to have to find something to go in there. Let's uh, ink that up a little bit. We'll use brush corduroy. So what's on your all's craft desk today? What are you guys working on? Very cute in that. Ah, oh, perfect. How cute. Oh, you can even, we could even leave the flap hanging over. That's cute. Let's do that for now. All right, we'll tuck it in. I don't know, but I like it. And if I had any more pearls, did I have any more of those pearls left? We could put, I must have used them all. Let me look at my tray here. Cute. I think I will leave that out, even though it flips up. Once you close the page, you'll be fine. I like that. Okay, moving right along. Um, this page here, I was looking at this, and I think I want to make a tall, skinny notepad to slide behind there. I haven't gotten the papers together on that, but that's, I think, if I can remember, that's going to be my idea for that page. So let's move on and I'll work on this page. I need to grab some clips. Hold on a second. Okay, I was thinking, I don't know. I was thinking I wanna use this frame that I cut out of this jean. And originally I wanted to put that flower applique piece that I made in there, but I think I'm going to save that for another piece page, but I like that on that um, vintage music sheet. And I was thinking about putting some vellum behind it and then just make something pretty to go behind there. So let's start there. Let me move this. And let's start with this. So this is about the right size. Yep. Let's do that kind of flimsy so we got to kind of work with it okay
take it slow, do a little bit at a time here. Turn that off. Okay, I like that. thinking I found this piece of scrap um, digital looks like uh, printable from jeans from jeans you know denim I was thinking about maybe making a tag behind there because it fits yeah let's just do that so I'm gonna put this down should I do a top load or a side I'll do a top And I like the little phrase and the fringe. I love that. All right, we're going to give that a second to dry. While that's drying, we're going to work on the size of this. Let's see. Um, There. Oops, get that straight. Straighten up the other side. Just a tad. So it's what? One, two. That's a good size tag there with almost three and a half inches about. back that with something because it's just copy weight paper. So let me see what I have in my bag of scraps here. Oh. Uh, an envelope. Okay, that almost fits. Recycle that. Let me see how that fits in there. That's a little narrow. Actually, it's almost perfect. Let's use that. Well, no. Um, let me see. Let's see what else I've got. piece of this gray cardstock here. Use that other for something else. Yeah, let's do that. So 
Okay. Okay. And then bring this back in. Okay. Try and do a straight cut there. Now we're going to need a tab, and I was thinking some chiffon ribbon, I think. Let me look. I have some right here. Or I did. Yep. Let's use some of this. Actually, maybe we can use this piece. Let's see. I think I'm just going to round those corners. I'm not going to do it in a tag shape. I'm just going to do a small round on those. Okay, um, and then I'm thinking maybe, let's see if I can do this. Get it centered, and I'm going to do a small, well maybe if I go from the back, huh? I'm going to make a couple little small slits, get it right, it doesn't have to be exact, but There we go. And let's see if I can feed that through. Here we go. Let's see. I might have to make the slits a little bigger. We'll see. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to make that one just a tad bit bigger. See how that looks. Uh oh, might be a little wide. Yep, we're gonna have to trim that down just a smidge. Okay, I don't want to have to force it in and out of our pocket, do we? So let's just take a sliver off of each side. Hopefully I can do that straight. And I'm going to take a 
sliver off of this side as well. it's the glue. So let me um, let's take my ruler in there and kind of loosen up the edges a little bit. Okay, let's see if that helps. Then I can't put it all the way in there, can I? Didn't think about that. All right, so we're gonna have to put a tab on there. Let's take that off, save that for something else. And we'll put a tab on. But I'm not, I don't have my tabs out. Slide that in there for now, and I'll remember to put a tab on there. But we do have to decorate it, don't we? Let's see. Um, I have somewhere. Let's see what we can find in here. Need something flat, because that pocket is really tight. We can't put too much on there. Put a little pop of color, that'd be pretty, wouldn't it? One of these big flowers, maybe. I like this one. Maybe a little piece of book page. Just do something quick and easy like that. I don't like all that straight there though, so let's take a little bit more off. Okay, maybe um, well, there's some word elements in here. Maybe we could use one of those. Let's see. Okay, well this is all there is, so let's see. Um, let's do, stop to smell the flowers. A oh, beautiful day. Looks good, okay. Yeah, it's a really snug pocket, so yeah, I think a tab would be best for that. Okay, so we'll put a tab on that. And we need to dress up the outside a little bit. I know, I thought I had, yep, I had made that fringe, started that little fringe. What if we just put that right there? I like it.
and I was gonna sew it, but I just put a piece of this ribbon on there. And then maybe a little cluster of something there. Let's see what I have in here. All right, we'll come back to that page. I have to think about that. And then I had this, just a little old paper doily. And I thought we would just do some paper decorative edges for this middle page. So I'm just gonna cut this doily into four pieces. these down in the corners. I thought that would look really pretty. Okay. So let's do that. We can leave them open. Never know. Might want to tuck something in there. Who knows? And we can always come back and close them later. I lost one. Okay, that looks cute. Let's dress that page up a little bit. The digital just speaks for itself, really, but I just wanted to add a little something because it's called denim and lace. We need the lace, whether it's paper, paper or fabric. Okay, I like that. Let's see, I think that's as far as I got as far as ideas. So let me think. Oh, there's one. Let's see what I have here marked. Don't even remember. Hmm. I don't remember what I had I what idea I had. Let's see how that looks. Page looks good with that because it's the color of the flower petals. Mm -hmm. We could do a tuck and a tuck. I 
kind of like it in the middle though. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And we'll do a double, we'll do a double, double pocket. Let's um, think that up a little bit though. Should we bring in some more stenciling, I'm thinking, maybe to this page a little bit? Let me look. Let's see what catches my eye. Um, this is my favorite one. Maybe a little in the corners. Let's see how that's going to sit. Let's try it. Only live once, right? Okay. Put a piece of paper behind there. And I'm just going to try to hit the corners. good okay let's try this corner Good. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And we'll do this a double. We could slip something small and slender in there. I love this little applique I made. So cute. Okay, and then we'll put that down. Okay, very nice. Then we'll have a little double pocket there. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Let's get maybe something on that page. See what I've got here. Look in the tidbits. I have this little piece of trim here. Let me see how that looks on the 
last page we just did that we need a tab for. We could do that. Let's see how that looks. I think that's a little bit wide though. Let's trim that down. Go ahead and do that. Nice sturdy tab. Bring it down to cover up my little lines back there. Yeah, once we've slid it in and out a few times, I think that'll loosen that up. Yeah, that looks good. And I also have this little flower. Hmm. Okay, back to this page. I'm gonna make tags for that. And maybe this page. Let's see what I've got here. I've got this piece of paper. Where are we at on time? Okay. I'm getting close. So let me get the thoughts together here. I found also this in my stash. Isn't that cute? A little jean jacket. I wanted to try and incorporate that in here somewhere. I thought that was just really darling. Oh, maybe we can, well, it's kind of big, but. Cute. Let's see. I've got to pull that out. Right on the bottom of this page. What do you think? I don't know. With the red and the flower. I'm not going to take it off the plastic yet until I'm sure. But let's do that. Hmm, maybe, huh? I kind of like it. I kind of do. All right, I'm not going to rush. We'll wait. How about, I just feel like we need a little extra pop of color with that flower. Maybe some of these tiny, tiny enamel beads. A few red ones. What do you think about that? Let's see, maybe three of them. I love using these. One, two, three. Let's just do three. One. Two. That'll work. Gotta have a little pop of color here and there. Okay. Um, I like that. Yep. Let 
this page it was. I was thinking, back to this, maybe this way. Get a little bit of both of the prints. Put that down. Hmm. Maybe this page. Oh, you know what? I just thought of it. Yep. And that line right there, we're going to make that a pocket. Yep. That's what we're going to do, guys. Okay. So let me mark where I need to cut it. And I left myself a little extra room, and I'll trim it off later I'd rather have extra than not enough okay then let's see this will be I'm gonna cut a slit right on that line <clears throat> and I want to try and get the even amount between the two Maybe if I come from the back side, huh? Let's do that. That'd be simpler. Let me measure. Half inch. Oh, let's do three-fourths inch from each side. And I'm just going to make a line. So I don't know where that needs to cut it on the back. And then three-fourths from this side. Same thing. Okay. Now find my line. Well, I guess I really didn't need that mark, did I? I don't know. Let's see. Because I've got to make the slit from this side. So, um, I just have to eyeball it. Right about there. To right about there. It doesn't have to be exact, but... There we go. Let's see. Now I need to reinforce that with something. So let's just I think I have some pieces of book page here somewhere. I also have this. We could run that across. Nice, dirty page pocket. It's just a little piece of lightweight cardboard, like from cereal box. We'll just run that right across, and then I'll cut through the slit again. Hopefully without making a mess. Let me find my beginning. I think it's right there. And cut. Go all the way through. Yep. Okay. 
There we go. All right. Let me check my time again here. That on the last page, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're past time here, guys. All right, we'll stop there. This is gonna go on here and um, I'll think about what I wanna do from there. But that's gonna go down on that page and we'll have a little pocket right there. Okay, guys? All right, well, that's what I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the craft with me session. We're getting it knocked out. Um, get some more ideas, get some more pages, look through my pieces and see what I've got going for the next video. Thank you so very much for stopping by my channel. I truly appreciate it. If you found something of value, please hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment, a like, and I will see you soon. Until the next video, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.